Scott Holbrook, President of Secure Tools, standing here on a roof in front of one of our 40 plus helium installs. See the box right there behind me. And I just wanted to, while I'm up here, answer a, a question that goes on the, uh, well, every form, Reddit, Facebook, doesn't matter. Uh, the question is always, you know, help, help, help. I have no witnesses. Uh, what do I do? And so I just want to answer that quickly here. Uh, first off, it's important to understand what no witnesses means. It means that your router uh, isn't seeing anybody. Uh, it doesn't. It's not detecting any sort of proof of coverage activity coming from other routers. Why it doesn't see anybody? Well, that's what we've got to troubleshoot and find out. It could be any number of reasons. So the uh, the first thing you always want to do whenever you see that is go ahead and reset it. Uh, I'm sure most of you have done that before. Uh, just to make sure. Next, you want to check and see if there's any sort of POC activity coming from your router. Uh, is it sending out beacons? Because if it's sending out beacons, that means that the router works, and it means that you actually are connected to the Internet. Um, and so now we can move to a, a different set of troubleshooting. And there's one or two options that you can look at. First would be either your equipment, like your wires, and that your connections are faulty, or it's in a bad location. Uh, before you go off and spend more money, I would recommend testing out the location first. Uh, how do you do that? You're just going to move the antenna. How much to move it? Very, very difficult to say. I've actually moved antenna six inches to the left and gotten, you know, five more witnesses. You know, RF, radio frequency, it's a very weird thing. It bounces, it jumps, it kicks, it, it goes every which way. Uh, you never really can tell. You can't predict it. Uh, you could get yourself something like a helium vision that sort of gives you an overall mapping of the area, but for your specific location, it's going to be a lot of trial and error. And so the first thing you want to do is change locations. Put it on the other side of your house. Put it higher on your house. Put it on your roof. Put it outside and you know close the window on the cord. Like, like do whatever you got to do to get to a different location so you can test whether or not it's just that location or if there's something else. Uh, you may even want to go to a friend or a relative's house and ask them to stash it there for a couple days. Um, I'd say five to seven at least. You can't really get too good of a reading off of one or two. You want to, you know, spread it out so that you get a, you know, an average of what's going on. But you ask them to keep it in their house for a couple of days and see if you get witnesses there. Um, if you move it in your house, their house, wherever, and you're still not getting witnesses, then you might want to start looking at your equipment. So you want to look at your cables, make sure the cables aren't faulty, uh, make sure your connections are good. To do that, just go ahead and get yourself a cheap cable. You don't have to get an LMR, you know, 8,000 that costs you $50 an inch. You know, go off and get a cable, you know, plug it in, wire it up, set it wherever you're going to set it, and then see if you get witnesses. If you start getting witnesses, okay, you had a bad cable. Now you can start spending more money to upgrade your proper equipment. But there's no need in upgrading equipment if it's not even the equipment that's the problem uh, because that's just a waste of money. And so those are the advice I have uh, for, you know, I have no witnesses. You know, number one, uh, make sure that you're online and that your router actually does emit POC activities, you know, the beacons. Uh, number two, make sure that the location is good. Make sure you're in a spot where you can see other hotspots. Uh, that could be uh, by moving it to the left. That could be by moving it to his friend's house. You know, do whatever you got to do to get a witness. And once you have a witness, now you've identified the problem is just your house or your location isn't good enough. And then if you move it and you get still no witnesses, now you want to start looking at your equipment, buy another cable, buy an antenna, uh, keep it cheap. You know, don't don't go all out on this just yet because you don't really know what the problem is. Uh, plug those in, and if you start getting witnesses, okay, now you know it was the equipment, and you can make upgrades, you know, as necessary. Um, but you know, don't don't spend more money than you need to until you actually have a setup that can be improved, right? You know, we want to spend money to improve our helium setups. We don't want to you know spend money to to initially make them just to take it down because we find out that it doesn't work. Uh, if you have any more questions or any thoughts, concerns, whatever it is, drop a comment below, and we will re reach back out to you. Thanks.